Hey guys, welcome back. So today I wanted to share a few tips on what I'm now doing for storing like bits of die cuts that you might want to use later on but you're not really using them now or maybe you cut too many or maybe you do sit there and just do a whole bunch of them and you want to put them somewhere um, and also a way to store different um, backgrounds because some days I'll just sit and colour and ink and paint and do things like that and then store the, the backgrounds for like using on a card or a project later on or for die cutting later on too so I have a couple of these tins and this tin <laughs> it's gonna sound funny this tin actually came it had it was from the old we had a Disney store here many years ago um, I'm very sad that we don't now <laughs> But we used to have a Disney store and um, this actually had all Disney like villains <laughs> um, post-it notes in here so but I kept the tin obviously I used the post-it notes kept the tin and this stores all my like little bits so this <laughs> this was kind of funny I actually used this I embossed a piece of cardstock and then cut strips out for a card that I used to make like kitchen doors and things but I actually feel like that looks like a door, so <laughs> I didn't plan it that way. But things like that, just chuck them in here. And then there's another one, to me it looks like a little door or something. And then there's little off cuts, things that I've cut out, you know, that I don't know what to do with. There's extras of things. There's also in here some, you know, smaller things that I've cut out where I wanted. Maybe I wanted this colour for the outside and the, a different colour for these little stars. So I... I now have an extra of that same thing. Um, so there's all sorts of stuff in here. There's little circles, there's little tag things, um, all sorts. But this is where I put these sort of off-cut type pieces that I can use later on in another project um, so they won't go to waste. If it gets full then I'll have to do something but <laughs> at the moment there's space in there for things like that and I have actually used that recently in a couple of projects well last year I think I actually went into that stash <laughs> so. then I have two of these these are Tim Holtz um, they're meant for the, the Distress Crayons you can fit the emboss and glazes that he has in these and that's what I bought them for but I actually found these are more useful for this for me right now so this one just has alcohol inked backgrounds in it um, and you've seen I think I did a video on this on these ones um, just playing around with alcohol pearls and different alcohol inks and all that so they are stored separately I feel like they need to be separate <laughs> I don't know why <laughs> I just feel like they do and then this one is for any other background so these will be like water-based backgrounds that I've got so I did a video on this recently just using a stencil both sides sort of thing um, these are like embossing again using stencils so I don't know what I'll do with them but they're just nice to play these are my foiled ones from Pretty, um, Pinkfresh Studios so again all these sort of things go in here until I want to use them this one I've cut into a few times um, not even last year, I think the year before was when I first used this because I thought it looked kind of cool, like a like wood grain, like really old wood. <laughs> so I think I made a fireplace or something. <laughs> and then these are some canvas pieces that I've just messed around with. So that's what they, those are for. So anything other than the um, alcohol inks will go in the, this one. So hope that's helpful it doesn't have to be the tins by the way you can use any tub you can make a little box um, but anything like that keep hold of them because they will come in handy and also when you're having a day where you're not feeling it craft wise um, I lose my mojo <laughs> quite a lot so it's hard for me to think about what I want to do for my channel some days um, even though I'm very creative so playing around and getting your inks out and messing around with like alcohol inks for the day or your you know distressing or whatever it is it helps get that flow back 
but keep them because you can use them for other things. So I hope this was helpful and I will see you in the next one guys. Bye!